My name's Julian and I was the senior author on a study looking at data routinely collected from child and adolescent mental health services in the UK. Goal setting at the start of therapy and then tracking progress towards achieving goals during therapy is widely used across healthcare. But we don't know much about how it's used in services with young people. So we wanted to find out whether goal setting and tracking progress was more or less likely with different young people. Goal setting and tracking is thought to help young people and families to be more involved in therapy and therefore happier with their care. So we also wanted to look at whether goal setting and tracking progress was associated with service satisfaction. We looked at information from nearly 4,000 cases from 32 child and adolescent mental health services. We found that goal setting was more likely with younger children and those with learning difficulties. This may suggest that other questionnaires used to monitor progress in therapy may not be seen as suitable for these groups of young people. Alternatively, therapists may feel that more structure is useful in work with these individuals. Goal setting was also more likely with young people who had both hyperactivity and conduct disorder, which are types of behavioural problems. This may be because young people with both these problems may have been seen for more long-term therapy. Regarding satisfaction with care, we found that parents were happier with their child's care if goals had been set and tracked. We think this may suggest that goal setting and tracking progress may help families to feel more involved in therapy.